patients ni on Zima was in hospital and nine months pregnant when the first gunshots rang out. As health workers around her began to flee, the young woman had no choice but to follow suit, not knowing whether her unborn child would make it through the journey. Everyone fled. Patients, doctors, nurses. No one stayed in the hospital. It's a day that I will never forget. Someone told me to just stay at the hospital because I wasn't going to make it, but I pulled through. A few days later, patients gave birth to a little boy at the Ruchuru Hospital. This city in eastern DRC has in the past week become an informal camp for thousands of displaced persons fleeing the violence in North Kivu. With no adequate facilities to host them, hundreds of refugees pile up in schools and churches where they must sleep on the floor. Overwhelmed local authorities are now asking these villagers to return home, but many are scared of fresh attacks to come, despite assurances by security forces dispatched to fight the rebels. Let me tell you that we will leave our office in Kinshasa to come and die here, because this is part of our national territory. The so-called M23 group launched a series of attacks on villages in North Kivu last week, taking security forces by surprise. The former Tutsi rebels had taken up arms again in November after accusing the government of breaching a 2013 peace deal.